Hey loves, and welcome back to my channel. Um, for tonight's What's For Dinner episode, we are gonna be making simple, simple, simple. When we do vegan, I like to keep it as simple as possible. Tonight I'm cooking by myself. Um, Dad's at work. Lauren's busy doing what she does. So tonight I'm going to be making nachos for the fam bam. And they're vegan, of course. Um, we've got maybe one or two things that may not be that's process, so to speak. But again, we do what we need to do to get through this journey to make it as simple as possible. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that we're gonna be doing um, or cooking up for tonight's meal, okay? All right, so we've got old famous black beans. These are gonna go as a topping. We've got some frozen corn. Um, this is gonna be our meat substitute along with some Saute onion, uh, mush mushrooms, these are mushrooms, y'all, and onions. And then I'm going to do some cashews, which are raw cashews. They're going to be soaked cashews to help make some, like, cheese sauce for on top of the nachos. Um, and then we'll go from there to kind of, like, dress it up with some more toppings. Um, probably some sour cream and guacamole and taco sauce and things like that. So, let's get cooking. All right, so I've got the mushrooms all washed up. I ended up doing half of that package you saw. I'm going to slice these up. I've got about a cup of cashews soaking for the cheese sauce. And I've got my onions all sliced up. I'm going to saute the onions and the mushrooms together and then get the corn in the freezer. I mean freezer. In the microwave. And then I'm going to get the meat in. I'm probably going to season this meat up just a little bit more because it's a little bland for me if I do say so myself. I'm going to get these in the pot with a little bit of water and seasoning and we'll get cooking. Beans are rinsed. Going to put them in a pot, add some taco seasoning to it, and these should be done in maybe about 5-10 minutes max. Okay. Got just enough water to cover these beans. There's about two cans of beans in here. Um, so I'm going to use the whole pack of this in there. Pour that in and then just stir it up. And that's going to give my beans the flavor that I need to have to go very well with our nachos. While the beans are cooking, I've got my pan heated. I'm going to add just a little bit of avocado oil to the pan so I can saute up my veggies. I usually don't use a lot. I know you guys have seen me cooking with oil before, and unless I'm frying something, I don't use a lot of oil. So I'll take and smush that around and add my onions and mushrooms. I'll do the onions first, saute them up, and then um, add the mushrooms later because they create a little water. So, yeah. Got my onions cooking down. My favorite little spatula. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. I can just eat them all right now. I'm right, gonna get those cooked down, broken up, get them a little translucent. That means you can see through them. And then I'll add my mushrooms to the pan, get those sauteed up. Um, while these are cooking down, I'm going to go ahead and cook my corn and my meat substitute and then add some flavor to that. That way we'll be ready to make our plate soon. For the corn, I just follow the instructions on the back. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Mm, I think it's a microwave safe bag. Yeah, <laughs> I'm using the wattage information over here. I usually just do about four and a half minutes because ours is an 1100 watt microwave. Put it in there, let that cook up, and then I'll add our seasonings and flavor to it. So, I'm gonna put this in. That side up. Gonna put it in for four minutes and 30 seconds. And I'll come back to check it in a minute. Got the onions cooked down just a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add the mushrooms. If for some reason your on your mushrooms don't want to cook down, I just add a little bit of water to mine and help. But they make their own water, so be careful on how much water you add to the pan. I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning to the onions and mushrooms too just to give it a little bit more flavor. I'm a girl who loves flavor from the south. I cook with the spirit. 
sprinkle and go, sprinkle and go. So I'm going to add probably a little seasoned salt, some garlic powder, and yes, onion powder. Even though there's onions in here, still, trust me, that makes it taste really good. All right, so I've got a little bit, not a whole lot of seasoning because I don't want it super salty and all of that. So it's not really necessary to have it so much on there, but just enough to give it some flavor. So I've got some seasoned salt, <clears throat> a little onion powder, garlic powder. And I also put a little bit of the chicken grilling blends, Mrs. Dash Salt Free. There's no chicken in here. It just has a flavoring for chicken. If it'll focus so y'all can see it. Anywho, Mrs. Dash, check it out. Okay, let those cook on down just a little bit more. Get them all nice and good and ready to go. My beans are beginning to boil. Look at those buddies. And we'll be ready to eat. So once the beans come to a boil, I'm going to put a lid on them. Let them simmer down until the... Um, vegan meat finishes up and the veggies finish sauteing down and then we're going to be ready to eat all right now that the corn is all done yummy looking i'm going to season it up with a little bit of butter some salt a little bit of black pepper and some sugar um, to give it a little flavor everything has to have flavor just saying um, but I'm going to go ahead and put in the vegan crumbles. I'm going to put them in the microwave. I've got just about uh, four tablespoons of water. This is half of the bag. Put it in the microwave for about two minutes and 30 seconds. It does say to cover it with a napkin. Um, and I guess it keeps it from splattering. So I'm going to go two minutes and 30 seconds. Oops, not three. Council. Two minutes, 30 seconds. All right. All right, so these are the seasonings I added. Got the corn, I mean the corn, of course it's corn. I've got a little salt, a little pepper, a little um, cane sugar, and just a little butter. Gonna mix all that up, and that's gonna be one of our toppings. I didn't just want plain corn out the bag. I needed a little flavor, y'all. So mix all that up, set it to the side, and then I'll get making the cheese sauce while the um, vegan meat is cooking. Okay, for the, ch for the cheese sauce, I've got the cashews. I've drained them off. They were soaking and rinsed them off. I've got some, <clears throat> in the bowl, i got some salt, a little onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, smoked paprika, a little bit of lemon juice. I know I could have squoiled the lemon, but hey. Trying to make this as easy as possible and some nutritional yeast. That's what the big glob is to give it its cheesy flavor. It's going to go in with some water into my blender. And yeah. So I'm going to dump in my cashews. Get all of these things in there because they're super expensive. Unnecessarily. Remember, these are raw cashews. So I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna add, I always add my dry ingredients on top of the cashews and then add my liquids. I don't know, it's just a habit. So I've added in all of that. And I'll put the recipe that I found this at um, in the description box for you guys to see. I'm gonna add some water. And then the lemon juice. Okay, add the lemon juice. Put that in and blend it up. There it is. All right, I'm gonna put it on blend for on like probably speed eight, and I'm gonna turn this down so it doesn't bother you guys. All right, let me check it and see what we're looking like in here. Try not to waste sauce all over the counter. Looks yummy. It's um, thin right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it over to a pot and let it thicken up just a smidge. Maybe five minutes max is all it takes. Hold tight. 
I'm going to put this in here. Hopefully it won't overflow the pot. I think it's enough. Perfect. I'm going to get my scraper and get the sides of it in there. Heat this up, just like I said, to thicken it up just a little bit more for maybe about five minutes. And then fix the plates. All right, now that everything is done, we're going to add our top um, toppings. These, we're going to put some sour cream on top with some holy guacamole. I like the spicy. Um, drizzle it with some taco seasoning. These are the chips we're going to use. These are accidentally vegan. These are the Doritos spicy sweet chili. And then we've got the lightly salted great value brand of regular tortilla chips. So I'm going to create my base of chips. I'm going to put some toppings and tear it up. So these are my chips base. I'm going to start off first with a little bit of cheese sauce. All right, so I've got a little cheese sauce on there. I did that off camera because it was a lot easier to put that on there um, than to try to hold the pot and do it. Next, I'm going to add me some beans and corn and uh, onions and mushrooms. And then top it with a little bit more, uh, maybe some of this vegan meat. I don't know. So these are my beans. This is how they're looking. Oh my gosh, they're so yummy. I'm going to slide my plate a little closer so I don't make a big old mess. Got my beans. Top with a little beans. Got my onions and mushrooms. Get myself a little bit of corn. I forgot my spoon. Let me go find one. Got a spoon. So get me some corn. It looks like a lot, but it's just the chips. And then I pile it in the center instead of along the sides. But it tends to fall all the way around anyway. So, all right, I'm going to use a little bit of this vegan meat. It was okay. My family likes it, so that's why I make it. Just a little dollop of it on top. Yeah, I won't taste that much. <clears throat> All right, put a little bit more cheese sauce. I'm going to do this. I'm going to move it a little closer. Look at it, how thick it got, y'all. All right. Try not to burn anything up trying to move this cheese sauce over here. All right, so I got my cheese sauce. I'm going to drizzle some of that across the top. A little bit more, not a whole lot. It don't take a whole lot. <clears throat> Got the drizzle of the cheese sauce. Sprinkle a little lettuce on there. My hands are clean. I mean, you know, you got to have a little green in your diet, right? Just a little. Get a dollop of sour cream on there. If I can get it to come off. You never want to cooperate. Look how cute that is. Now get me some guacamole. Get a dollop of that on top. And then last but not least, some taco sauce and maybe a little bit more cheese. I'm just saying, just a little bit more. Okay, got the mild taco sauce. Drizzle a little of that on there. If it'll come out. Get into that, y'all. How pretty is that plate? And then just a little bit more on the cheese sauce. Just a little bit more. Right across the top. And then dinner served. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for joining us tonight for What's for Dinner. I hope you enjoyed the making of our taco. No, it's nachos with a little lettuce. Honestly, it's not a taco salad at all. It's nachos with a little bit of lettuce. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Enjoy yourselves. If you make this, comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. I'll link the taco sauce, not taco sauce, all over the place, the cheese sauce. Um, and where I got that recipe from, I just tweaked it a little bit for my liking. 
but um i'll link the recipe that i got the idea from in the description box below if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to like comment share and definitely subscribe to my channel if you're not already all right see you guys again next time be blessed and less stress shanti speaks Thank you.